Okay, uh, 444 now and a fourth grader from Morris, Louisiana is a viral sensation now for his accordion playing skills. Here's a Facebook Live video of Kyle Mott playing at a barber shop in Lake Arthur. This is Ray's Barber Shop. Uh, I've done a story there. Every, every couple of Saturdays they get together and they just jam into this small barber shop and they start playing. And this is his newest... Uh, newest participant there, and uh, Ray, I believe, is mayor, uh, ma uh, police chief of, okay. uh, of Lake Arthur. Oh, he does, you know? And you just kind of sit there in between the barber chairs, and people just show up and play. His to fingers play. are just going. Look at him play. Do they yeah. cut hair while they're They do cut it. Apparently, they just have a band. They do cut, a band. They <laughs> cut, <laughs> they cut <laughs> some hair. Not a big shop either, yeah, but uh, pretty they're interesting. Kind of yeah. Well, I'd like to go back and need to find out. I think it's the first or the fourth Saturday of every month. We're all going to oh, yeah. show up and get our hair cut right. in a few weekends, I'm just, sure. Just a little off the side. And jam yeah. out yeah. while we're there. Right. All right, let's take a look at our forecast out there this morning. Looking at the Christmas lights over at the Civic Center, 58 degrees now here in Lake Charles. Northeast winds at 9. And at this point in time, we've had no issues with fog, at least nothing to cause any concern for travel. Wanted to show you the current temperatures across the country because, yes, while we are cooling off, we are not getting in on any of this frigid Siberian air that is moving into a lot of the northern states this morning. Look at this current currently single digits. Uh, these are before you factor in the wind chills here. Bismarck, North Dakota is at zero now. Rapid City, South Dakota, six degrees current temperature. So kind of hard to imagine uh, that here in southwest Louisiana. 20s and 30s as far south as Arkansas. And of course, we're still in the 60s, wow, look at that, 60 degrees, 53 though at Fort Polk. It's beginning to drop over parts of our area just a bit this morning after that front moved through yesterday. Winds out of the north at 9 miles per hour. And of course, our radar now on a clean sweep here as we had those showers that moved through yesterday. Now out over the coastline, but still plenty of cloud cover out there, which we'll be dealing with through most of the morning and even into parts of our afternoon. Futurecast will eventually show some clearing in those clouds, hopefully before sunset, maybe a little bit of sunshine here going into the afternoon. That should maybe boost us back up into the 60s there briefly. Here are our Futurecast temperatures for today. Holding in the 50s through most of our morning by 1 p.m. We're looking at about 61 going back up to about 64 degrees for a high temperature today. And then into the evening we drop back down quickly into the 50s. Clear skies tonight and allows that uh, temperature to really drop. In fact, when you wake up tomorrow morning, a little bit of a chill in the air. there, going down to about 42 when we wake up on a Thursday. So that uh, roller coaster going downhill now, at least for the next couple of days, as colder air works into our area. And as we go into tomorrow, highs in the 50s for your Thursday, about 55 degrees for the high tomorrow. So it will definitely feel cooler pretty much all day. But a quick warm up returns on Friday. There will also be a chance of a few passing showers Friday afternoon as a mid level disturbance moves over the area. We'll put the rain chance only at about 30% though for that. And that warm pattern continues through the day on Saturday. That next front Saturday night into early Sunday will move on through, bringing a line of showers and thunderstorms. Timing on this is still a bit of in, in question, but it looks like late Saturday night going into early Sunday would be when we would see that front move through, bringing a cold blast of air. Now, some of the longer range models were hinting at the possibility of some rain showers back early next week. Certainly possible if we do see rain, though, it's going to be quite cold highs in the 40s there Monday and Tuesday. So we go down to the 50s tomorrow into the weekend, though, back up into the 70s on Saturday. But what I wanted to show you is going ahead into Sunday, that temperature takes a plunge there and continues to remain chilly as we go into next week. In fact, we'll be flirting in some areas with freezing temperatures for morning lows come Monday morning and then highs on Monday. Look at that only in the 40s. I mean, a coat weather to start the new week ahead as we take a plunge there and tap into some of that colder air that so far has been locked to our north. 64 the high today, some morning clouds clearing by afternoon, down to 42 for the low tonight. And here, here it is on the next seven days, kind of going back up on those temperatures by the weekend. But cold is next week. A chance of a few rain showers as well. Let's we'll see how that plays out Monday into Tuesday. 45 for the high on Monday. Wow. Okay. That's just a good little mix. We there know it's of all coming. Yeah. I hope stuff. you still got those coats. Don't put them away too no. far. We'll need them. All right, Ben. A group of